squash bugs really like this early prolific and I know that uh, even though there's no squash bugs there's a little bitty one right there even though there's no squash bugs on the plant itself right here on the stem I can shake these leaves and they're gonna fall and then I'm gonna spray them and I'm gonna show you what happens um, these leaves are this well there's a squash bug right there they're like this because of the squash bugs and um, and you can see the effect of it here now there's a seed squash on here and that also zaps the plant energy quite a bit because it thinks it's nearly done but the majority of the damage is caused by those squash bugs so I'm gonna shake the plant keep recording and show you what happens There's quite a bit of them. They're, thank goodness they're all coming back to the plant. All right. See what's going on there? It's a great contact killer. And um, more importantly though, I think before it even happens, it's also a great deterrent. Now, squash bugs are the toughest, toughest bug uh, to deal with in the garden uh, for me, other than the squash vine borer. Um, but I only had one squash vine borer that I killed this year, and um, I don't know if I got lucky and killed the only one that was going to attack all my squash. But you can see here that all my squash are still alive, and um, I don't know if that's because I got lucky or if it was this spray some of these got on me or if it was a spray deterring them or potentially killing eggs i can't tell you the exact reason why i didn't get attacked by squash vine borer just could have been lucky but i can tell you this the spray here's some is a great uh killer of most everything and um of course when you spray you know it could do damage to bees so bees are pretty much done late afternoon it's best to do this in the late afternoon uh, of the day instead of doing it in the morning uh, or during the day at any other time so there you go that's what it does for this for the squash bugs it's, it does great as a contact killer uh, I think it also acts as a deterrent and they just keep coming and um, I think it's a really good spray all around I've seen it kill white flies aphids uh, ants uh, what else in the garden here just um, everything you can imagine and um, I usually don't add spinosad unless I see caterpillars but with the squash vine borer the, the the thing that causes all the damage is it's caterpillar. It lays an eggs and it bores inside and that caterpillar eats everything. So when I'm out in the garden, I also spray with spinosad. So that's why it's in this recipe that I'm gonna show you. So yep, this is an overrun plant. I got some up here that are, don't like it. <laughs> they must've been under the leaves, didn't come off. And uh, the overrun, overrun with squash bugs. And um, I don't get it on my Early prolific. I'll go down there and I'll show you that. But here, I mean on Masson's Cross, but here on the early prolifics, man, these things love this. Now I do get some on the uh, I do get some on the Masson's Cross, but not nearly like this. And once they lay eggs, they can flat out take over in no time at all. So that's it guys, I just thought I'd share with you my brew, my do-it-all mix. Here's the recipe. Here's early prolific, I mean the uh, Madison's Cross as I promised. 
and here's the plant and you can see it is still trying to pump out babies like crazy they do have ants on them so i just wanted to shake it just so you can see there are no squash bugs on any of these plants squash bugs i mean rarely ever they're like they i think they stop by on their way to the early prolifics so that's an unexpected um, treasure find for Madison's Cross. Beautiful little squash. Love everything about this squash. Well, that wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. In order to subscribe, all you gotta do is click the button here. We'll put a check mark next to it. If you want to get notification the next time I make a video, click on the bell here, check here, and hit save. You guys take care.